Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have been playing with the Sony Milo COM2. This is a personal communicator device from Sony. I've been uh, messing with it for a good part of the afternoon. And one of the reasons why I was attracted to this is one, I always wanted to know what the fuss was about. And two, because I do happen to like gadgets. The thing that impressed me the most uh, from using the Milo, more than anything, even after getting in and using it, was when I first turned it on, the screen resolution was so sharp, it, I was taken aback. I thought there was another sticker right there on the screen, and if I'm not mistaken, it's a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels, that's 3.5 WVGA, and of course it's a touch screen as well. So even though you're not able to tell from this particular distance, uh, it is very, 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 very sharp, very, very, very clear, uh, and as I said, it's the touch screen, so I can browse uh, my communication tools, RSS podcasts, subscribe to them that way, so that you have an audio podcast you want to subscribe to, or just regular RSS feeds, you can. Of course, on the side, there's also your navigational nub. I can go and browse the web, listen to music, browse photos, browse my videos, take a picture with the built-in camera, play some games, or, of course, configure it. What's interesting about the communication part is that out of the box, it supports AOL Instant Messenger, Skype, Yahoo Messenger, and Google Talk. And yes, if I connect to Skype, and, and I you know, could, but the reason why I won't is because I'm going to get inundated with calls, because that's kind of what happened the last time. I'll just, for argument's sake, I'm going to do it again. This is, this is going to kind of be scary. Now, I also have the, uh, uh, the speaker connected to an external... Uh, I guess, set of speakers. So yes, there's a speaker that's built in here into, it's on the back, uh, built into the device, uh, but I have it so that you can hear it. I've, I've plugged in an external set of speakers. One thing that was a bit concerning for me was that that uh, it's a proprietary connection because it's, it's made to handle both input and output. Uh, Milo can handle up to 300 contacts. Apparently I have a lot of Skype friends. Now I'm just going to sit back and wait. I'm just going to wait for someone to call me because inevitably someone will because it was just off the hook earlier and inevitably, I did, I did connect with uh, one person just to see how well it worked, and it did. Of course, I can also browse chats. There's someone I could be chatting with if I wanted to. Or I can go back. Okay, no one's calling me now. Fine, I'm a loser. Go back, and it's running in the background now. And I can go in, and I can log into AIM. I haven't actually connected it to Yahoo Messenger or Google Talk yet. We're going to go back. That's the communication. I'm going to go into Tools. You've got a text editor built in, a Dropbox file manager. Uh, obviously, your network settings, if you haven't. This is connected by Wi-Fi, by the way. 802.11G. I can go into settings. Change date and time. Change my wallpaper. And right now, I, I set it to orange since uh, it, it's, you know, it just seemed, struck me as kind of an orange device. Oh, here we go. Thank you. I'm going to reject you, though. Close the window. Press that button. Change the wallpaper. I'm going to go for something a little darker, hopefully, as it loads in. You can hear the Skype sound. That's the, the, those sounds are coming specifically from this device, so let's go with blue. I think that was the default wallpaper. Okay. Uh, I can change the type of USB mode that it's in, and so I can choose either MSC or Mass Storage Class or uh, MM MTP or Media Transfer Protocol. Uh, it does charge by USB, I was happy to see, and they actually listed that on the box. I can uh, run a system update here, get system information. There's the text editor again, but I'm just going to go back. It's, it's easy to navigate either, you know, with your finger, or it comes with a stylus. You could use that as well. So in the web browser, I believe, is the same web browser that comes with the PSP. Camera is a 1.3 megapixel with macro mode, which is really, really nice. Go to the last page I visited there. The keyboard, yes, there is a keyboard. Let's see, what, was that an error? Yeah, it was an error. Oh, well. The keyboard slides out, well, slides under, I guess, and it's simple to use. Certainly having a keyboard is usually better than not having a keyboard. Someone's Skyping me again. See, I told you, they're just going to, now that they know I'm connected, they're just going to be ringing me. Um, the keyboard was nice to have, but I tell you, it was t a tiny bit unintuitive, especially when it came to like keying in numbers and symbols. Uh, I suppose if I got used to it as a, uh, a an input device, it would get easier to use, but as it stands, I'd be more inclined to use a touchscreen, and maybe the iPhone had, had spoiled me on that. 
There is a microphone that is built in, of course. I, 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 see, if I don't know who you are, there's no way I'm going to take your live call. No way. It's just not going to happen. So let's go back. Let's go home. There we go. Nope. There we go. Not going to happen. There's the home button. If I can. Of course, I can also. I'm, I'm also running these uh, apps in the background, and I get more information about the apps and switching. There's kind of a task switcher that pulls up on the side. Nope, don't know who you are. Not gonna happen. I'm just a popular guy, especially when I'm recording videos, huh? Oh, it's four ones. Okay, I'll answer four ones. Hey, four ones. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Not a whole lot, man. Watching the uh, review here. This is a really, really cool device. You like it? Yeah, man. The screen is super, super bright. That is amazingly bright. Well, I, I'm sorry. It's like I, I should probably. I thought I'd turn down the brightness, but apparently I need to turn it down more, specifically with no, the, it, the webcam it looks that good. I'm. It looks really, really sharp. Does when it? You, when, when you've got a dark background, you can really read everything. It looks great. If I tilt it at an angle, you can kind of see kind of what's going on there. Um, yeah. So the battery li uh, life, according to the documentation, will last up to six hours. Uh, up to 20 hours if music, with music playback, up to 7 hours with video playback, and 6 hours with just regular old web browsing. Uh, it is a removable lithium-ion, rechargeable, of course, by USB. Uh, cool. The browser, as I stated, is the same as they use in the PSP, which is Access Netfront, and it supports Adobe Flash Lite 3, which is what allows you to watch like videos on YouTube or play Flash-based games. It's not going to play every Flash file, but it, you know, it's pretty basic. Uh, I showed you the Instant Messenger. We're obviously demonstrating Skype, and thank you for calling in. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I really appreciate the, the it. The latency is really good as well. Is it pretty good? Yeah. I man. can't really tell. Um, on the other side, as I, I've already slid out the keyboard. You've got your volume controls on the side. Uh, what's kind of nice about this, too, is, yes, there's the camera, but it's got a little mirror. You know, one of those... This is nice to have if you ever want to take a picture of yourself. Uh, you could use the mirror. And then there's the macro switch. That's kind of a, a nice thing to have, uh, you know, the ability to switch between taking a picture at a distance or really up close. Uh, so they've, they've definitely thought of that. There's the top. There's your USB connection. Uh, then you have your AC power. Of course, then I've got the... Uh, what's plugged in right now is the microphone and speaker connector or connection yeah. or uh, cord, cable, the whatever the heck it is. Uh, memory slot? What's that? The expandable memory slot? What type of card does it take? Well, it's uh, going to be a, a, over here on the side. You're not, I don't know if you're able to see if I hold it at an angle. That's where you'd yeah, stick the memory stick. Right there on cool. the side. Um, then you also have, like, if, if you're familiar at all with the controls of the uh, PSP, it's very much the same. You can turn WLAN on or off, so your wireless or your power. You can also flip it on hold if you want. Um, the device is going to run about $300 depending on where you get it, but imagine having this kind of interface in your pocket, you know, being able to talk with friends just about anywhere. I mean, obviously... I get a lot of people who are calling me because they know I'm on Skype and demonstrating the Milo right now. Um, if you are really into the PSP, you're probably going to want to stick with it. If you haven't decided on getting a PSP or not, and you're really into mobile communication, um, I think the Milo is a winner. The screen is nice. It's, the, the, it's very crisp, extremely crisp. It's so legible. Um, I, I'm, I was kind of taken aback, still kind of am, especially for being such a portable device. The, uh, the thing that's, I think, uh, kind of difficult to explain is you know who this is really for and I really believe that the demographic is going to be uh, younger uh, people who are into communicating with their friends all the time no matter where they're at of course you are going to need your own uh, internet connection so as long as you're within range of a hotspot a public hotspot or what have you then you should be able to uh, get online and chat with your friends just about anywhere uh, the screen is probably going to need some kind of anti-glare uh, protector on it it's always good to protect your screen but uh, yeah, that's about that's about the size of it. I, I'm sure I'm leaving like a million things out. Uh, it weighs about well, according to documentation, about 6.8 ounces. That's 193 grams. It's very lightweight. Definitely could fit in your pocket. Uh, does support MPEG-4 video, of course MP3s. It also does WMA and WMV videos if you're into wow. you know Windows stuff. Um, also supports JPEGs, PNGs, and bitmaps as far as photos go. There's a white version as well. Of course, you know if I have a choice for my devices, I'd much rather have like blacker devices. I think my PSP is now silver. The the new PSP, the PSP Slim, mm -hmm. whatever they're officially calling it now. Uh, it's not a replacement for the PSP at all. It's a really a different kind of device. I mean, altogether, not just because. What's that? 
So it looks like a really good coffee house device. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you didn't want to lug around a laptop, I mean, if you have an iPhone, this isn't as interesting. But if you are totally into communications and if you use Skype all the time or your instant messenger all the time, um, then everything else in the Milo is kind of, well, icing on the cake, really. Uh, the only yeah. thing that I would say is the keyboard is going to take some, some getting used to. But uh, it's certainly one of those things that I, I think if... Um, if it catches on, you know, and maybe the version 2.0 of the device uh, will catch on, uh, then I think you're going to see a lot more of them floating around. Uh, I know people are really into gaming, and so that is going to be one of the reasons why you'd want to pick it up, but really, it is a personal communicator. That's really what everything was built for. Um, Sony, I think, did a pretty good job. I think they took everything that they did right with the interface of the PSP, specifically navigation, and they included it in the Milo. So... I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to go back to the home screen, but it looks like once I'm in a call, I have to stay here, so I can't run you in a background. Maybe I'll be um, s set up to be changeable in the next version of the software. But thanks for uh, thanks for calling, man. No problem, dude. Or, or whatever this was. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to switch camera angles now, or at least do my best. I've got uh, that's the close up we started out on there. Now we're way back. So I'm gonna hang up. There's the hang up. I'm gonna remove the speaker. So that way if anybody's calling, it's not actually beeping through. Uh, there's the box. Oh, it still is connected. Now it's not. It's, it is on that. So as long as I turn it off by holding the power switch, it says, see you. And I'm telling you, you'll look at it and go, wow, that's, is that on? I mean, it's very, very bright. Uh, the screen is the, seriously the best thing about it. Oh yes, and if I'm talking on Skype, I can hold it like a phone, like this. Because there's the ear hole. Ear, it's not an ear piece. It's a, it's a hole through which sound emanates, and you put it by your ear. Ear hole. You know that that's that sounds like a, a a name people used to call me when I was a kid. So there's the Sony Milo Com Two personal communicator. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm certainly going to have this around the house uh, so that, you know, if I need to get a hold of someone right away and I'm not in front of a computer, and geez, that's like, you know, every three feet here in the Perillo stead, um, the, uh, uh, you know, having this here is, is going to be just another one of those things I get to play with. And uh, I may be taking it out with me if only to have Skype conversations on the road because uh, currently, at least, my iPhone doesn't support that kind of communications. So I will need the Milo. Need the Milo. Anyway, uh, maybe you're a Milo fan. Uh, let me know if you got any tips or tricks or things that you I should be checking out or you know might make note of specifically to let the rest of the community know. Um, now, if you had a Milo at one point and it really wasn't for you, I'd also be interested in finding out why. But more importantly, uh, just let me know if you know of any other devices kind of like the Milo that you think are better, or if the Milo really stands up well in terms of what it is and what it does. You know, for for you potentially. Uh, the thing that uh, also surprised me about the Milo is the fact that out of the box, it was, I don't want to say it's vendor neutral, but the fact that Sony included support for AOL, Yahoo, Google, and Skype was just amazing. Like, right out of the box. A personal communicator device. Nice. Very nice. So, if you're addicted to IM, it, I, I don't think there's an easier way of, of, of connecting by IM. I mean, maybe you're going to say, oh, there's software available for X, Y, and Z. Yeah, but... The screen is nice. My email address, again, chris at perillo.com. And you're also welcome to stop by uh, the chat room. We're streaming it uh, in conjunction with this live video feed. Uh, and people saw me playing with the Milo, my Milo, earlier, asking me questions about it. And I did my best to answer it. I, did, I had a few questions myself. I kind of threw them out there. I'm like, hey, what kind is this? What is this? What is this? And then uh, some of my friends sent me information almost right away through Instant Messenger on the desktop and then on the Milo. And then I also got an email uh, that was sent to me, uh, the documentation, as listed on sonystyle.com. So thanks again, Sony, for uh, passing this along. Um, still waiting for my PS3, you know, Blu-ray thing I don't have yet. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not a, I, well, hey, if they want to send it, I'm not going to argue. I just don't have one yet. Anyway, you know where to find me. You know where I am. And... Do I know who you are? If not, I'm definitely not going to pick up your Skype call. But you're welcome to join us in the chat room. We're typically talking tech, software, hardware, internet services, gadgets, gizmos. You never really know what we're going to be doing at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.